this is Diego. He's a 10 year old 14 three hand Appaloosa and he actually is fully blind in both eyes. We like to keep his fly mask on when it's really sunny out like it is today, just to help keep the sun out of his eyes and so it doesn't get irritated. He recently just became fully blind. He was partially blind in one eye, or fully blind in one eye and partially in the other when he came to us a couple of months ago. But we kind of noticed that he was getting a little bit more funny when it came to walking. So we had doc check him and he said that he and now is fully blind. But so today I'm gonna show you what we've been working on with him. He's actually, he's very sweet horse. He's easy to catch. He comes right up to you. He learns voices. We're trying to work on getting him used to saying when he has to step up somewhere or step down on something. So that way it makes it a little easier for trailer loading or anything where he has to find new footing. He has a buddy outside that kind of stays with him in the paddock. He doesn't do as good alone because he doesn't have someone to show him where he's going. So he would do well with another horse that can see or someone that is experienced with blind horses just so that way he can have a buddy with him. Boy. He just recently had his feet done last week and he was really good for that. When he knows his path that he goes on every day, he does really well, but when he has to go on new paths, he's a little unsure of his footing. So we've been trying to just lead him in new places every day when he gets worked. Before he came, um, when he was surrendered, the owners were riding him a year or so ago, but we haven't done anything with any of that with him since just because of letting him adjust to being blind. So I'll kind of show you guys what we've done with him, with the obstacles. Oh boy. So first I'll do the bridge. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Ready, step down, good boy. So I'm just trying to give him little commands like that up and down just to let him know something's coming. So hopefully, eventually he's gonna associate those two together. Step up, good boy. So this is our water obstacle. It doesn't have much water in it right now. Kind of dried up over the weekend. Good boy. Good boy. Step up. Step up. Good boy. What a good boy. Step down. Good boy. He's not really scared of much. He's just a little unsure of his footing, not being able to see. 
Like that was a new path. We haven't done the gazebo yet. So it was nice to see him figuring out his footing right there. Good boy. That's really what we've been doing with Diego, just getting him adjusted to his blindness and leading him a new path so he can get used to new footing. And every time we get a new path, he's a little more sure than he was when we had first started. But I think he would do well with someone that is just looking for a companion that knows how to handle blind horses and someone that can just give him a lot of time and attention just to keep him busy because he is so young. That is Diego and hopefully he can find his forever home soon. So to, I'm giving Diego his first bath with us. He's a, he was a little unsure at first, but not awful. Um, when I'm not like using the water, he kind of moves side to side and pushes into the walls. But once the water's going, he stands pretty well. He could definitely use it because he has his white socks and he has some of the white through here, or the lightness through here. It's a hot day, so it's pretty nice for him to have a bath. So it's a good day for him to have a bath. So I like to use the curry comb to kind of scrub in the shampoo real well to get up all the dirt on the bottom of him. Get his mane too. And then I have some whitening shampoo that I'll put on his legs afterwards. Like I said, he does get, he gets a little antsy when the water's not going, but as soon as that water's on, he stands pretty well. Getting up all the old fly spray, sweat, dirt, anything he has under his coat. And then I'll put some whitening shampoo on his socks while I let that shampoo sit in on his body. Oh. So anyone who has a white horse knows how great purple shampoo is for their, to get them white. Rub it in real good. 